everybody, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com, and today we're going to take a one of the cl look at one of the classic classical guitar pieces called Romance. Now this is a kind of a standard uh, piece in the classical guitar repertoire, but it, I think it's really accessible for just about anybody that's playing any style of acoustic guitar. So even if you don't have a nylon string, just uh, feel feel free to try it. Now what we're doing here in the left hand is some pretty simple. Uh, one note melodies followed by some pretty uh, big stretching bar chords. So it, it is going to be kind of simple at times and then sometimes, especially in the second half of the piece, which we'll take a look at in uh, the part two video, there's going to be some pretty big stretches in the left hand to try to get your hand around. Um, in the right hand, we have a very consistent picking pattern. Um, so I'm going to show you that picking pattern first because it goes throughout the song. And uh, it's a good little arpe descending arpeggio exercise to play through. So we're going to start with uh, your thumb on the sixth string here, and then your ring finger. We're going to have that on the and the tablature for this, which you can get the tablature uh, if you look at the link in the video's description. Um, the ring finger is called A. That is the symbol for the ring finger, M for the middle, and I for the index finger, and then P for the thumb. So we have the thumb on the sixth string and then the ring finger on the first string. We're going to pick those two together. Now you want to do in this motion, as, you, as soon as you pick those two notes, you're going to plant your middle finger onto the second string. So you always want those to be one motion. So as I pick the outer two strings, my middle finger lands on the middle string, so it's preparing. Then as I pick the middle string, I mean the, with my middle finger, my index plants on the third string. So as the middle goes, so it's like they're walking. They One movement, one goes to the next string while the one is plucking another. And then as your third string uh, is being plucked by your index finger, you're going to move your thumb back to the, the bass string and then the A finger back to the high E. See how the, both the outer notes are now preparing for their stroke as that last note is hit. So we have everything is prepared before it's actually played. And that's kind of a standard way you would train your hands when playing classical guitar, but it works for really any style of finger style uh, guitar. So. Uh, now we're going to take that pattern and we're going to take it through the song here. So make sure you follow the tablature. It's going to start pretty simple with our pinky here at the 7th fret. And we're going to do that pattern we just did. Now what we do is we do the bass note every uh, three times through the descending arpeggio. So to start, we have what we just did. And then you do the arpeggio again, just the top three strings without the bass note. And then one more time. So we have. The next time, we're going to now add the bass note again. So we're starting to move the melody around now. That's uh, seven on the high E to five to three. So, so far. Okay, and then we're going to do this. So that's three on the high E, then two, then zero. Then we're going to pick the zero again with the bass note, so starting the pattern over. So we're doing it since it's three times through the descending pattern. Um, with the bass note starting at each time, I'm just going to show you the, little fr the whole piece in fragments like that. So the next three is 0, 3, 7 on the high eight. And then all the way up here to 12 with your pinky um, three times. So I have this. Go 
another 12. Now it's 12, 10, 8, so I'm going to do 12 with my pinky, 10 with my second finger, then I'm going to shift back and grab the 8 with my pinky because I have a bar coming up and I need that pinky to be holding that note. All right, now we do our first bar. Just put your first finger right across all, five, all six strings on the uh, fifth fret. And on the top melody note string, we're going to have eight, seven, five. So that five is going to be taken care of with a bar. And then go back up. So I just want five, seven, eight that time. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to grab this B major. And we're gonna, that's going to be a full bar at the 7th fret with your 2nd finger at the 8th fret on the 3rd string. Do the 1st finger pattern so that melody is going to be at the 7th fret on the uh, high E string. And then the 8th fret. So this is a little bit of a, you have to rotate your hand just a little bit to get your 3rd finger in there to grab the 8th fret on the 1st string. So we have this. And then back down to the 7th. So we have. Now keep holding that bar chord and stretch up with your pinky. This is where we're talking about some of these stretches start happening. Um, just move your at the base of your pinky, move out to the 11th fret on the high E, and the melody notes are going to be 11 back to the 8, back to the 7. So we're still holding that bar exactly like we were before. As you speed the piece up, you don't have to hold that bar too long and it makes it easier. Then we're going to start back to the five, 7, 5, 3 on the high E string, back to the easy melody notes. And then 3, 2, 0. Then we're going to hold, going to hold this B7 type chord. And that is going to be your first finger at the fifth uh, string on the second fret, second fret on the third string with your second finger, and then the uh, third finger at the second fret on the high E string. Uh, you're going to have that B string open. My, the bass note now right here is on the fifth string, by the way. So make sure you're picking the fifth string there with your thumb now instead. So we did the whole picking pattern just on that chord with no moving in notes, and then we just... Now the movement is going to be two, three, two. So we have... So all together. Then hold an, eight, an E minor chord. Hold it with your first finger at the fifth string and your second finger on the fourth string because of this bass note we have to play. And we're going to do the picking pattern, and we're going to do the bass note each time through the picking pattern. So the bass note first is going to be on the fourth string, then pick it the same pattern again, but this time with the bass note on the fifth string. And then we're going to put our third finger at the third fret on the low E and do the picking pattern again with the bass note on the sixth string. And then we're going to hit the two outside E strings with the thumb and the ring finger. Okay, so make sure you follow along with the tablature, and in the next lesson we're going to take a look at the major section, which is basically the second half of this piece. Okay, have fun.